DCMikeTV.com right here with Darren Sweet Tate Williams. What's going on, sir? What's going on? DC Mike TV, shout out to y'all. Yeah. You just weighed in, um, came in at 124. This fight is at 26, correct? Yeah. Are uh, you moving up to featherweight? Um, you just got finished facing up with your opponent. Um, you know what you see in his eyes and, and how do you feel it, you know, the new weight? Same thing every fight with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing different. It's opponent. We don't take no opponents lightly. Um, I can't tell how the fight gonna go just by the look in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? I, hopefully he will prepare. I know I'm well prepared to fight. And that's just what it's gonna be. We both gonna put on the show tomorrow night. You know what I'm saying? Like, we not taking nothing away from no opponent. Mm -hmm. The last fight was March. Um, mm -hmm. I talked to you before your last fight, March yeah. 2nd in uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, you said you was looking to get in five fights by the end of the year. Yeah. Can you talk about your last fight a little bit for those yeah. who didn't see the fight? Can you talk about that and talk about, you know, you getting in five fights by the end of the year? I mean, well, it was I had a shoulder injury my last fight. You know what I'm saying? But it's no excuses, no complaints on what happened. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, take my head off to him and we want to fight again. You know what I'm saying? But, um, me going up to 126. That's cool. I mean, the last fight, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just gonna come in this fight. I'm gonna see how I feel at 126. Um, see, with the weight, you know. And I'm gonna just take it from there. Just take it one one fight at a time. So, like, that's all we could do. We got some upcoming cars coming up. Are you looking to get on those cars? Uh -huh. Every car, that's what you asked me about, the five fights. Um, anything, anything. October, November, December, you know, I'm um, trying to get on everything. And, like, I'm trying to finish out this year with at least two more fights because I can't get the five, so I want to do at least three. Um, hopefully, we can we can get them two fights in October and December, you know. So, hopefully, I mean, October 18th, Maryland Casino, hopefully we can get on that. Um, October 19th. October 19th. Um, it's a lot of cars. It's a lot of cars, but we, I'm not even looking at that right now. We got we got to fight tomorrow, you know, so let's get through tomorrow first, and then we we're about the future. Hey, boy, what's up? Hey, yeah. You've been fighting out in Arizona when your first career started. Don't go nowhere. You've been consistently fighting. Say, you better say my name right, Brian <laughs> Diller. <laughs> Yeah. You've been consistently fighting at home. You know, how, how great is it to be, actually be home? Uh, I love it, man. I, I love it. I'm taking fighting at home for granted. You know, that, um, I take my head off the jury. You know what I'm saying? Fighting at home, nobody knows what we go through when we do fight at home. You know, we got a lot of people coming at us from different avenues for different reasons. Um, but, but if we talk about just fighting, like if we talk about just fighting from the moment we walk in the arena and we walk out to our music that we pick, that we know our people going to crank to in our language, you know what I'm saying, that our people going to crank to and get us hyped up, the love, I mean, it's just, it's just a different type of energy, you know, so I, I love it, I love it. Yeah. You had, you know, some, some, some things, you got your, a solid team together now and you, and you guys um, constantly gonna start consistently fighting more now because you know you had a couple of times where things fell out you know you wasn't able to be on cards whatever the case may be but now you guys got that together where you know exactly what your plans are and how far and what